Hi, my name is Terry Lynn. I'm on the Lakeville School Board. I was asked by the district to do one of my favorite things, and that is read a book to you. And the book I chose today was The Berenstein Bears Blaze a Trail. And if you know anything about the Berenstein Bears, Papa Bear always gets in trouble, and he does in this book too. The Berenstein Bears Blaze a Trail. This way, scouts, Brother Bear said, let's go while Papa is still in bed. Let's blaze a trail through the wood by ourselves the way scouts should. But Papa was not still in bed. He was waiting for them up ahead. This way, scouts, let's blaze that trail. With me along, you cannot fail. Wait, said Brother, for Scout Leader Jane. Look, here she comes now in her plane. She's going to watch us from the air. She wasn't too pleased to see Papa Bear. What you scouts need is a guide like me. I'll get you those badges. Come, you'll see. This way, scouts, that way is wrong. That twisty way will take too long. Look out, Papa Bear. He's going to step on a critter. But Papa, the guidebook says, when blazing a trail through swamp or bog, never step on a sunken log. And that log, said sister, is a crocodile. Papa blazed that trail, Papa Bear style. Yell, the eagle's crashing through the woods. Wow, said Fred, this is good, a whole new trail right through the wood. That, brag, Papa, is a good lesson for you. Just get up speed and crash right through. Now mark the trail, Sister read from the book, so others can follow the path you took. Pooh, said Papa. Twig signs are not for me. Here, watch this. I'll use a tree. It was flying through the air. Then he went flying through the air into a nest, an eagle's nest. Uh, just thought I'd drop in, said Papa Bear. There he's going to get in trouble again. The eagle's not happy. The scouts marched on through the wood, but soon the trail was not so good. This won't last, said Papa Bear. While I was up in that tree back there, I could see for miles around. Come, this is a way to higher ground. This ground is good, it's higher and drier, just a place for a cooking fire. But Pop, said Brother, we do not need to cook. We have our trail rations, lots of them, look. Trail rations, poo. I'll cook up a batch of my delicious trail blazer stew. When on the trail, wild things are best, all cooked up in an old bird's nest. Now for a taste of my delicious trail blazer stew. Pew! So it smells so bad the scouts fall over, but the skunk really likes it. On second thought, stew's not on my diet. Er, how about that trail food? I'll think I'll try it. Come, shouted Papa, your merit badges are almost won through Rocky Gorge and the test is done. Shh, Papa, shh, says on the guide. In rocky places, do not shout. A noise can cause the rocks to slide. But sister's warning came too late. Can't hear, shouted Papa. The noise of these rocks is much too great. Then Jane, who was watching all the while, landed her plane on Papa's rock pile. Your merit badges, the scout leader said, for brother, for sister, for cousin Fred, and one badge more, added leader Jane. One for Papa, I shall explain. Papa, you blazed the trail, you did it fast. Your three landmarks are sure to last. First, we have Crocodile Alley, thanks to you. Second, the smell of made by her stew. The third landmark I have in mind is the great rock pile you left behind.
We did it scouts. We knew we could. We did what we said we would. We won badges to wear with pride by following our Bear Scout Guide. Berenstein Bears Blaze a Trail. I hope you enjoyed the book. And now that uh, we're at home, a good thing to do is to read. So have fun, read, and be safe.